Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and we're coming in front of my Christmas tree. The lights are up because it's a pre-lit tree. <laughs> I haven't decorated it yet. I'm trying to figure out in this Tetris game that I'm playing in my living room where the tree's gonna stay, but I think it'll be here. I've got a bay window over here that just has a blanket sitting on it right now. So that is where I'm at with decorating. Oh, I got a pretty good haul I wanted to show you before I go upstairs and start some other stuff. So let's get into it. Oh, and a word on this copper thing. I think, there's Alex. I think moving forward, I will not be showing toys or things that I got geared towards children specifically. I just don't want to get tangled up in this sweep that the government's going to be doing. And uh, $42,000 is a lot of money to owe the government if they think my videos are geared towards children, which I don't believe they are. So we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to kind of slow down. I'm Obviously, it's Christmas. We can talk about family things, but I'm not going to do it like toy openings and things like that. I don't think I've ever done that, but I'm going to be really not doing it now. <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right, so we got a huge gift bag. And look at this, isn't this so pretty? I love having big gift bags. Oh, look at the polka dots. To take, like maybe I will put somebody's gifts all wrapped in this bag and take it with me. Or if they come, I can just put this whole thing and then they can take their gifts home with them in the bag. Um, so this is a huge gift bag and for one dollar it's amazing honestly if i had a more of a modern feel i would frame this that's how cute i think this bag is but i don't so i won't um the other things i picked up i got four of these baskets i'll take one out these are just the plain white they have them all the time but what alex what i'm going to do with these since i do so many diys and i have like pieces and parts all over my craft room. I'm gonna line them up and I got some chalkboard tags, which I'll show you, and I'm gonna write on them what the project is for because I don't always have all the pieces to a specific project at the same time. So I thought if I line these up on the floor, oops, sorry buddy, and have a label what that project is going to be, then I can, you know, have them. So I grabbed four, I figured I wouldn't really have more than four going, but if I find that I do, I can, pick these up they have them all the time so I grabbed four of these and if it doesn't work out I can always use them in my freezer to organize but I'm hopeful that that will work out other householdy stuff so exciting light bulbs um but what is exciting is I have that type this Hollywood type of mirror in my bathrooms and um I'm down to one light bulb in my bathroom <laughs> So I grabbed a couple packs. I've never used them from the Dollar Tree, but they are GE. So I will assume that these are what I need. But if they're not, it's fine. It's $2. So I grabbed some light bulbs. And the other, and do I need to show you? Probably not, but I will because you should know that they sell these at the Dollar Tree. Extension cords. These are six foot indoor use only, which is fine. So I grabbed two because... My lovely gigantic tree behind me is pre-lit, which is fabulous, but there's no plug at the top for your star or angel. Like what? Like, is that even a thing? Cause I feel like if you're gonna light my whole tree, I want somewhere to plug, but there isn't. So I need to run an extension cord down the middle of my tree. And then I need to have something like multi-pronged because I have everything on a timer. And I love timers, by the way. And Aldi has them cheap, and so does Ikea. So I'm going to need one multi so I can plug the tree in one and the topper in one and then plug this end into the timer so that they all go on at the same time. That was long-winded for, hey, I bought some extension cords. But they're exciting. And I don't want to spend a lot of money, and a dollar works. Now, these are not for outside. These are Did I say that? These are indoor yeah, indoor use only. Um, now, some fun Christmas stuff. And this is a tiny little haul. I grabbed some poinsettias. 
we would never bring a real poinsettia into the house, but also look what's on there. That may get put on one of my gnomes. Oh, there's two of them perfect. These are probably gonna end up on my gnomes. These, however, I think are gonna end up on my snowman instead of, that I'm gonna be doing here shortly, but instead of um, putting a top hat, I'm gonna put some green and then some poinsettias in the green for like a, a crown. So I needed that. Um, I picked up some of these Jingle Bell ornaments. Um, yeah, they're red and gold. Um, my tree is going to be red, gold, black, white, probably for work. And I thought I might need some more ornaments for that project. So I grabbed some of these. Um, and they're cute. Honestly, I feel like they kind of look like an acorn. But they're bells and they'll go. So I grabbed that. And also for that project... I grabbed some of this garland. It's wired. Something just shined in my eyeballs. This is this garland is wired. It's great. I have this actually on my headboard and I just decorate it up. But you could grab like two of these and twist them together. And what I like is that they're not heavy, but they're wired and they apparently shed. But I'm going to use these to um, use this garland to fluff up. The Dollar Tree Christmas tree that I bought because it's pretty sparse. So I thought for a dollar. I also have other options, but for a dollar. Um, here are the tags, the four pack. And this is chalkboard and I'm just going to use regular chalk. I wouldn't use a chalk pen because it won't come off. Even though sometimes you can wipe it off, it definitely leaves a, sh a, a shadow behind. But I'm going to use these to tie on my baskets and then I can write whatever project it is that I'm doing, you know, have coming up and I can put all of the, I almost said ingredients. No, all the materials into a basket. And then when it's time to do whatever the project is and I have everything, I'll just carry it to my table and have all the things. So I grabbed a pack of these. And um, these are that new, I don't think it's a new brand. I think it's new packaging, Crafter Square. They have these in different shapes. I saw at my store hearts and these, but I like these the best. And you get four, which is perfect. So I got those. Um, I found, finally my store got the little red trucks with the trees on the back. Finally. It took some hunting to come up with a pack that had four decent trees on it. Some of them, you know, come up missing and whatnot. But these were good. I got two packs of them, actually. Um, they may end up on my tree. Not this tree. The tree I'm taking to work. Because my theme, again, is red and black and buffalo and country, what I do. So I grabbed two packs of those. If I only use one this year, like, I am totally okay with that. These will just go in my craft. I have a whole bin of Christmas crafty bits. And um, I will just throw those in there and use them another year. So I was so excited to find those. I just have a couple things left. I told you this is going to be a super fast one. They had a bunch of DVDs at my store. I don't even know how long this thing is. It really... Oh, it's 79 minutes. Hello. Ooh. Sorry, sir, come here. Come here, Alex. You come say hi. And apologize to our friends. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> there he is. Scooby-Doo and Kiss. Rock and roll mystery original movie. What? My brother's a huge Kiss fan. And I saw this and I said, oh, brother needs this. So I grabbed it for him. Just to go in his Christmas package. But this is an 80 minute movie. Did I mention Scooby-Doo and Kiss? Hello, if you were my generation. And it was just with the regular DVDs. They had a couple fun looking things. Here we go. You say hi to the people. Can you say hi? Can you say I'm sorry I knock everything over all the time? Yeah, he's not going to do that. <laughs> he is so chunky. I love him, but he's kind of. He's fat. He's going on a diet soon. Okay. He's going on a diet soon. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. Okay. The last things I got, which are going to be 
I think are a perfect stocking stuffer or donation item. So we are, like I've mentioned a hundred thousand times, I do a lot of donating with the things I buy. Some Dollar Tree stuff, some couponing things, but I do a lot of donating. And when I saw these sets, it's the April Shower brand. This is two, look at these little tiny bath bombs and then some shower gel. I mean, this just says fun to me. I don't know if it says it's two bath, two and a body wash. It doesn't say, uh, it just says fragrance. It doesn't say what fragrance this is. Oh, this is red apple scent. I mean, how adorable is that for a, you know, a young adult stocking, an older adult travel size. These are perfect. So they had them in the bath and the sh shower gel is that shower gel yeah bath and shower gel and two little mini apple scented i'm assuming bath fizzers or look at this one this size and this is bath salt and a larger bath fizzy let's see what flavor this is this is oh they're calling it bath caviar i'm sorry this is the same color I can't see. I think it might be the same scent because it's the same color packaging. But look at these. Aren't they adorable? For one dollar, I mean, who doesn't love a bath? I do. So I thought these would be great. Um, they're probably going to go in my donation box. I mean, I could gift them as for sure. But my intention was to donate them at my work in the donation box for some of the teens and young adults. Um, they kind of get overlooked, I feel like, at the holiday time with the donations and things. I feel like the little kids, it's cheaper, it's easier. You think small child for Christmas, but, you know, some young kids have older siblings and they, you know, feel left out at the holidays. So I try not to. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff. Um, but that was everything I bought this time. And today is probably Thanksgiving, I would have to say. Yeah. So happy Thanksgiving. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Eat some turkey. Eat some turkey. Have some turkey. Have some turkey. Gobble till you wobble. Have a good one, guys. Bye.